so thank you so much madam thoki somokarchu for gracing my <laughs> my small little talk show it means the it mean it means a lot to me and i really uh, appreciate you because i feel like you have a lot to say and you are a very like a very wise person full of wisdom and and uh, and mm -hmm. uh, i want people to know you as how i know you you know not not the hoki tomo cartoon who's like like the barbie doll of bhutan like you know glamorous and you know talented and all that i just want you i just want people to know you as 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 the person that you are so thank you so mm -hmm. much for coming okay oh well, thank you thank you for having me i mean don't say it's such a small show i think everything starts small you know you never know where this might take you you know so um thank you because uh however small something is for me i'll make the, i make the effort it's big for me it's always yeah. big for me i was excited excited to come here excited to talk to so many people and i never go live the only time i've gone live is with you mo mm -hmm. so thank you and i think um i think you're doing this for a good cause meba mush mm -hmm. you're talking i i've watched your other episodes and i th i enjoy it i enjoy it it's, it's nice and we yeah. can use tiktok as a platform to either um, put trash you know and then sometimes people like me have to entertain them so i have to do all the singing and dancing and the nonsense oh, no. and then yeah. there are people like you who's do using this platform to um, get a message across and also yeah. last time i was watching this uh, the singer you know punzo punzo yeah 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 i was mm. watching his live and mm. then he was tell he was talking he was saying that you know after he got sick and the accident happened and he was homebound mm. and on a wheelchair it was very lonely yeah yeah mush and he sing the german of funso and say and then tiktok when tiktok came and then he started going live you know i can see how gachimo connected now he feels to people and it's such a exactly. good platform my worthy mush yeah yeah exactly so you're yeah. using the platform well congratulations yes. thank you for having thank me you. out yeah i i i i'm i'm calling it a small show because for me for me like this is i think one of the best things i've done <laughs> but for people mm -hmm. like you all you know for people who are talking to me i just feel like mm -hmm. you all have been around for so long minute i'm so new there i'm like a brand new i'm i'm a baby there right now no in all this yeah you and know? it's exciting yeah so so for me it's a big thing i i i'm kind of glad that you know people are getting the message i feel and mm -hmm. a lot of mm -hmm. i get a lot of messages from men and women like thanking me for the show say did you me and i i last time touching i announced she be win that the episode ni sum de she be be da ati ti shagon de so no he said love the lo i got like what almost 12 15 messages please don't stop please continue continue bena bena say anu zum bonde so that kind of made me kind very happy so my yes. main purpose of the show is getting to the people in mm -hmm. so thank you so you much know, madam I, you know I, I i like i'm saying for us we may have done so many interviews so many movies gone on national television won national awards but for me honestly oh even a small platform like this is still the same it's still the same in fact there's more connection here you know i can be myself Whereas mm. if I'm on television, then I'm always performing. It's yeah. always a performance. Or honestly, you can never be yourself because you're so restricted with so many things. You know, you're re restricted with should I say this? Should I not say this? Language barrier, low. Um, should I, do I look good? You know, there's so many things behind me, ba. So no. I, I like I like this phone interviews. It's it's great from the house. You no, know, you can just meet anyone yeah. and talk about a lot of things yeah 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 thank you thank you so much i'm so glad okay so the okay. first question to madam toki tomo is i want to know like i said i want to know toki tomo not the movie star or the you know first miss bhutan but uh and not the one who comes from an affluent business family i want to know toki tomo as the person that you are how would you describe yourself? Very interesting question. Very interesting. 
because you know what, Obem Seymour, um, if I had to introduce myself, yeah. I would say my name is Hoki Somo. I'm this many years old. I come from this place. I'm a mother. I'm married. Slongbate. Now, when you take all of that away, if you take my name away, okay. yeah. I have done this, I'm practicing this way. I'm taking all of that away and I'm asking myself, who am I? And uh, I'm, I am discovering, I am discovering who am, I am. I think yeah. all of us at the end, inside, other than the form, mush. Yeah. You take all of that away, we all share this humanness in us, you know? So I, I've been, I've been on a journey discovering this. Who am I, Semush? But yeah. uh, say on the, the, in the, the, if I speak generally, of mm. course. Uh, when I I am Gachilo Sokisomo, the movie actor, mm. that's just a part of me, Meva. That's just my job. It's just mm. a career that, it's my job. Uh, yeah. It may be not me. You know, and I honestly think sometimes I really think Aumo, a personality like me landed in a wrong job, see? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, sometimes yeah. I feel like, why well, this job is not for me because Ngadi, I, when, when this pretentious character, yeah, yeah. everybody's watching yeah. you. Oh, do I look good today? I must act a certain way for somebody to like me. Mm -hmm. So it's like so pretentious that I get embarrassed when I have to be pretentious, you know? Yeah. I'm, I, I think I can't answer your question, but I feel when yeah. I'm alone, yeah. when I'm really alone, that's the real me. And Nadi, you know, I'm actually not, I look all social and talkative and all out there, you know, yeah. but I'm, I'm quite an introvert. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I like being alone. I mm. hardly have friends. I, yeah, I, yeah. You see, if I have a birthday party, my mom is like scratching her head saying, who should we invite this? So he doesn't have any friends. Oh, God. So, yeah. So it's always like just family, Ludi. It's just my family. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm an introvert. I, I am not what I look like. I like being alone. I yeah. like cleaning my house. I like um, I like going for walks in the nature alone. I like doing things alone, Mel. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm somebody like that. Like if you really get to know me and yeah, I'm quite yeah, boring. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm, I, I'm boring. No, I'm a boring you, life. I'll tell you from from what I know of mm. you, from what I know mm. of you, I think you prefer like going in deep yeah. and I don't know if you found that kind of a you have to be on the same wavelength no to kind of connect with yeah. people yeah. to be able to talk maybe yeah. you haven't found people of that same wavelength because you I feel like yeah, if you're not honestly I'll tell you yeah I feel like you you, you know would, like, you would be a tampa if given a choice you know you'll be like doing your meditation <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you're yeah, always like, doing your inner in work. This... Yeah. You know, I have noticed that about I'd you. I'd rather be like, I, instead of me being in New York in a suit and, you know, yeah. owning the world, I'd rather be in the streets of Siliguri doing Hare Krishna, Hare, <laughs> you know, yeah, so exactly. it's like. That, you know, that's what I mean, yeah. No, yeah, so yeah. it's like, uh, yeah, I'm that, me, what the, and. Yeah. I, I'm that male, you know, it's like, I, I, sometimes I feel maybe I take too, life too seriously. Yeah. I'm very sensitive. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm very yeah. sensitive. And uh, I can feel pe people's vibes and energy very strong. So that's why I think I'm an introvert because I can't handle a lot of people. I can handle two, three people at a time. But more than that, then I start to get dizzy and I start spinning. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's very interesting. I mean, I always knew that about my you. My connection bad, oh. So I'm glad that your fans kind of got to know that about you. 
your second question is Hoki, how was your childhood like you know growing up did you have like all your you know did you get like a princess treatment you know <laughs> with like five or six maids around you <laughs> putting your shoes on <laughs> oh my god no 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 getting your hair done you know no 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 i, I had no hair to be done <laughs> i had like i had like this boy cut till i was eighth grade so yeah yeah uh, no 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 uh, i had a very normal childhood oh Mm. Very normal, very simple childhood. My uh, parents were all middle class, trying to work it, you know, trying to make it. So my father and mother were very hardworking and we had a very normal upbringing. Uh, my father is a very grounded man, very simple, yeah. Yeah. very humble, you know, yeah. that um, he used to place so much of this value of being humble, being simple. Mm. You know, he used to always say, if you're here, always be here. Mm. the the higher you are the greater the fall and my father still tells me this to this day you know he says wow the great sokitsomo kachum the big actress mm. the higher you are the bigger the fall no so he always yeah. you know he my father will always say that to me and then my mom she was a she came from a very ordinary family didn't have it all well, most people may not know they might look at her and say eh i'm sami amditero She's done so well for herself, you know. She worked hard. I saw my mother working so hard to be where she yeah. is today. So um, very normal childhood. I grew up in Chamzangto. I studied in Lutte mm. And no, I did not have mm. maids, <laughs> maids <laughs> dressing me up and plaiting my hair. No, no, no. I used to wash my own school dress. My mom used to say, uh, if you wash your own school dress, then she'll give you you know. <laughs> To yeah. buy all that YY and that Pepsi and all that junk, no? And then. <laughs> and then it comes up on Pepsi member. <laughs> Maybe any Pepsi you choose to you, but I scream to you. <laughs> that I used to eat all the time. I scream long, I eat ice cream Pepsi. <laughs> so, so I didn't have any of those Swiss chocolates and all for treats. No, no, I was eating Shushugi ice cream Pepsi. <laughs> and. Um, and then because you know every Saturday something uh you know drain chuo or nali chuo i have oh. to sweep the drains because my mom used to say mosquito theo and if you clean the drain i'll give you some pocket money slung oh. you know so i so i grew up like that it was very normal and yeah. now as a mother these are the things that really made an impact in my life member yeah. i'm trying to uh, bring my son as natural as yeah. simple as natural, as grounded as possible, you know. I'm trying to give him all the time I can give as a mother. Mo. Yeah. yeah. You know? And uh, but I'm trying to keep him grounded, you know. Like for example, Kokasim Omsope Asnu, Dompe Asnu. And then people are like, Ah, oh, Alu Dompe no and all. So I'm like, no, no. That's no, that's what not what I want to teach him, you know. Peb chin ko se. Same chap sub me slap ching or colour. Then he said, in a mama. I said, Yeah, yeah, you I'll teach you come slap it. I same chap jing a quiggy pant, you know. So that he understands, no, mm. that um, the value of things never. So for me my yeah, childhood yeah. was very simple, very normal. And uh I was really funny looking me. You know, I I, <laughs> I think I think all the classmates <laughs> when they saw me after after my transformation and they were like, why? You know, <laughs> they must have thought. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Even Ugen you know? says that. Ugen yeah. used to sing. That. In you fact, I was to... called ugly duckling, she you know? wasn't really that, yeah. <laughs> I was called like, <laughs> in my family, I was called gremlin. I was called ugly gremlin. duckling. And then, my God, and because I was dark, the things I used to go through, you know? <laughs> Ugen used to say that. Ugen used to say, you know, Toki wasn't really that great looking. She was called gremlin in the family, you know. Yeah. So now my I eyes, guess... my eyes yeah. were too big. My ears, my nose were. As you see, it was like odd, you know. I didn't look like a typical Bhutanese child, and I guess that was an eyesore for many of them. <laughs> you still don't look Bhutanese. You don't. I think I've always told you that. No, you don't. You don't have our typical Bhutanese look, Ram. You know, see, you look more like a, you know, Mexican. I don't know if you get that. Do you get that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You look more from, you know, that part of South America, 
anizum anizum ki look to chelu which is nice the words i that's like being different there and but now i can embrace that but when i was young man i wanted to have the silky straight hair and that the shock up and don't put munzume and that was it's called beautiful no that was beauty the yeah yeah okay so okay, how <laughs> what happened so yeah so toki you know. how mm -hmm. do you find the industry that you are in you know your your movie industry that you you know you're an actor there mo how do you find it and mm -hmm. and uh, do you sometimes feel a little intimidated by all these new upcoming stars what what do you what do you feel about that hmm the first question was how do i feel about the movie industry it's the small movie industry, your experience yeah, of that course. Feel it's small it's small um i hope it grows bigger than this so that the new people coming in can experience something bigger than i experienced you know i i i would wish that our movie industry would boom 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 and the younger people coming right now would um you know have it better than i had it or we had it our generation had it yeah. when i first came in i had a i took some time to adjust yeah. to the movie industry because uh I think it's all to do with how I was conditioned. I studied outside and my mind was a bit too independent, a bit too modern that time mm -hmm. for the industry, for the people working there. Mm -hmm. So, I think the adjustment thing they couldn't get me, you know. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I couldn't get them, you know. So there was an adjustment period, but um I'm not complaining. because it's been one of the best things that happened to me uh, i think after joining miss bhutan and winning miss bhutan i think mm. literally you know it changed my path it changed mm. my it completely flipped my life it changed my path mm. and mm. then if miss bhutan wasn't there i wouldn't have been in the movies yeah. and even there I wouldn't be here today and if movies weren't there I wouldn't have had all these experiences that I've had and met all the people I've met you know mm -hmm. so for me it's been it's been so great and mm -hmm. right now oh I'm in a very um I'm I'm at a point in my life where the old has died mm -hmm. you know that chapter mm -hmm. has almost closed sumchi be asnu and i'm heading towards something very new yeah uh, as a mother and also mm. as a working woman mush yeah, yeah. it's almost like that's a old me zume sometimes when i watch my movies sometimes the same show mela i look mm. at that and i say wow i don't know I, something has happened to me and i feel that's the past you know and there's mm. something i have left behind ani zume feeling so mela And then, and then your second question for the intermediate, like, do I feel? No, not at all. In fact, the more the merrier. No, mm. the more the merrier. The big party they will have. Mosh. Yeah. So I yeah. feel um, there are now so many people are talented. You know, uh, you see all these girls on TikTok, so pretty, so talented. More. They, exactly. And, and I wish you know that they. They just I hope they just don't get stuck on TikTok no I I I yeah. wish for them I ain't sorry though I always think I hope this girl makes it to the big screen and not yeah. only that maybe go beyond also they much they can you yeah. know yeah yeah exactly for me yeah, for, yeah so I know no man and then you see all the good looking young getters also coming so sweet you know when yeah, you see yeah. this young people on screen no yeah. it, it's really sweet like I can still Damn. see they're still nervous. Yeah. You know, and they're trying so hard and it's very nice. You know, talent, I watch everybody talent. on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, you know. Talent in amiss me do see, but I'm sure not many will get the opportunity, you know. Opportunity, you know. Plus now, don't you think now the movie industry is kind of slowly, you know, 
it's um not doing too well zoom chi do me na me nam samitem tam me no bhutan na me me no ani gi achi what do you think do you think bhutan will be able yeah, to yeah. survive that i mean the industry will be able to survive that bhutanese film industry well i hope that because you know anyway movie she day everybody's industry now everybody was complaining saying the movie mizo and everybody was feeling that low you know and then yeah. i made that movie you felma hmm because of that see i had this funny thought when i was going for my daily jog i was running running and then a thought came to me and then the thought was like you know don't back off when it's going low you know you must uh, come when it's going low you know you must yeah. work when it's going low for the nation for the king for the country you know jab jab deni men mo now is the time kemi loni ri lost for po we must continue slap it that was the reason i started writing that movie again you know yeah. and then that movie we screened it here it it yeah. did okay you know oh hema zume di jurame to be i don't know rogi movie di judo one house full be i don't know i don't know but nga di shop me chap mo nga shop me chap me nga gi movie di house full ma jume ma she me nga di pao 500 seater 500 seater nga ma na sam la hata me nga na la hata ta in 3 days no rent she does na mira ga ma su balcony cha but you know what okay this is something that So okay, this is something that I really, really admire and appreciate about you, huh? Really, honestly, like, honestly, this this is something that I want. See, you don't have to lie. Kimi loved the law. Are you going to do through so much so black? I'm still trying to figure out how to recover that money. No, of course, um, yeah. some buyers have approached me from Australia. Me some day chigi nogi slapte. So, and I'm I'm thinking whether I should sell it to them or maybe I should ngarashe be Australia move it to mo junna se mo. I'm thinking like that, so that to the yeah. machine, but but compared to Hema, no, pa 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 Hema the movie June but oh, this time the June but like three days seriously rent got a pocket and everything up to Jimmy, and then <laughs> then I was wondering how come Nikki movie the houseful mujube and Rogi movie the houseful houseful for Jimmy mo, I'm like why got to be now you know, <laughs> but you know what, I realized. people take a flop movie personally me what they i don't take it personally it's not yeah. me man it's not me you know uh, a movie mm. doesn't do well it's because of the economy rangi chenge magi leda chikai chugobe timing season weather so many things come to play so yeah. i don't think any actor or producer or director should take it personally enough me what to say ah ngagi movie jumotup and feel bad about it no 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 It doesn't work like yeah. that I think for me. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> okay. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> okay, you know it's okay. Uh, oh. This is this question is actually from my best friend, okay? Kuti say you mena patna. I'm sure she's watching also. She sent she sent me this question because I was talking to her that time. Oh. You're one of the first Bhutanese actresses to start playing unconventional roles in films. Mo Why did uh why did you make those choices and did you want or did you want to send out a message by choosing such roles for yourself especially Metopema? Mm-hmm. Remember your Metopema movie is some is yeah, to yeah, do with yeah. some mental ani imbatemena and you yeah, have yeah. always done movies like that like what is that movie Sharshopa Zamin where you are like mm-hmm. you know and is mm-hmm. very unconventional roles to play be mena. Yeah so, yeah. So you know So so like because most actresses want to look beautiful they want to you know wear pretty dresses and sing and dance of and course. run around the trees and all that no but I think every girl you, wants that yeah but with you I can see you doing like roles that are very challenging mm-hmm. so why why did you I mean is it because you wanted to challenge yourself or did you want to have this message pass across to your audience both oh, both I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to do something out of the box. Yeah. And uh, as a child also, you know, I never really fitted the box. I yeah. I don't fit the box, you know. And it took me so long to uh, say forget the box, man. I don't need to fit in there, you know. Yeah. I, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to if the part doesn't 
fit you, then you make your own path. Your own path, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's where it came from. And um, and for me also, since I told you, I'm very sensitive, Meba. Most of these mm. movies that I've done are all inspired by real life events. Yeah. yeah. You know, Meto Pema mm. was in, inspired by a, a driver who is to live next to me in Chamzangto. And he's to have outbursts of this See, mental getting... bipolar disorder. Mm. And this dialogue, mm. when I'm going crazy in that scene, mm. this dialogue was from him. Mm. You know, and I really felt so bad for that guy because um, he would be the talk of that little neighborhood. Everybody would say, you know, and in, from there, this movie grew, Metopema. And I just turned it into a female version with some yeah, 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 yeah. Chugiani, that's grew. Yeah. yeah, and then Shash was... Shashokpa Zamin grew from the community I lived in. You know, when I was young, yeah. I grew up among a lot of Shasho people. So mm. their little humor, their little, you know, Baguchina de, their little, the the little life they have. You know, it's the little mm. humors Shashop have more. It's, it's completely different, Meba. So for an artist, I pick up such things from people, me. So that's yeah. how it all came about, you know. And then Jarim Sarim also the where. Oh yeah, Jarim Sarim. Zayi nga dachi chogi movie ki ming ani ming di jee di wo ni Jarim Sarim ni mati. So that one also is a funny one, no? With me and King also yeah. where it about it's about a girl running after her dreams, although yeah. she's so ugly, no? That came yeah. from me, I think, you know. I, it's part of. I felt very close yeah. to her. Yeah, I felt very yeah. close to her because um, I wasn't the best looking child. I, I didn't have a particular talent. I wasn't the most intelligent. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, I, I always felt back, you know. Yeah. 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 I, I, I always had to take the back seat, you know. Yeah. So that yeah. was about taking the front street seat, you know. So. Yeah. It for my stories it comes from I get inspired with certain moments. Yeah, so then that's yeah. why people can connect. People and can then connect. oh, you know, like you were saying, like actress, yeah. the most of the time, like people also expect not only an actress, Boomji in the Beru, they like the pretty girl in the dress with the daisy on her hair and looking so mm -hmm. flawless. And I wanted to break the stereotype, you know. I wanted to be there all bare with no makeup and we wearing some. Yeah, torn yeah. clothes and some chapel and and in fact you know and it takes older. a lot of guts huh it takes a lot of guts to be doing that yeah why they oh more and some characters say with the more i was wearing this butter chapel let me not down for the butter chapel day yeah yeah oh the butter chapel the baby so juicy yeah and i try every time i'm shooting i'll be fixing my chapel and i actually felt you know how yeah. somebody in the streets who can't afford yeah. a Chap a second chapel felt, you know, a mission yeah. line because chapel look look man so cupped up, you know, and I felt, you know, I I, I mm. seriously I could feel it in my bones, you know, what it felt mm. to don't yeah. have that extra money to buy a chapel and you just have to make do with that, you know. I yeah. have I haven't I've been blessed in this life, my wow. But yeah. yeah. I felt those characters on those cold nights when we're shooting and I'm in the chapel, my toes would freeze. And I felt, you know, what a young girl who couldn't afford a good shoe having to walk the streets, you know, tuk zombitsu, balloon zombitsu, you know, what it felt like. I, I, I deeply connected to it. Yeah. Yeah. So see, this is such a <clears throat> beautiful part of being in the movie industry, man, what you can get yeah. to experience, no? All, yeah. all types of lives, churangi, experience, besuwe, what the mosh. I became a man also in this quarter, so. Yeah, 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 Miss Kota again. Yes, Miss Kota, Miss Kota. And you did such a great job, yeah? But I think I, I look think quite handsome. I think the maximum that I have watched, I think. <laughs> oh, I think I look quite handsome. I was looking at myself. You look very that. handsome, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Mo. <clears throat> okay. Hang on. I, I actually have a... You know... If you had all the resources, more all the resources, say you have all the money in the world, you have all the time, you have all the good people to work for you to make mm -hmm. a movie, you know, 
what mm -hmm. would your dream role be? Hmm. I haven't thought of that. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting question. What would my dream role be? Something very if challenging. Could... There. Uh, I would. I would want. I would want to make a movie that would. Uh, where I don't. It's not about looking good and having that beautiful MTV in Switzerland. And no, no, it's, yeah, it's yeah. not that. It yeah. would be. I would like to make a movie on, say, prostitution maybe child labor you know something very strong that the world feels an some a very strong issue i would make something yeah. like that or yeah. i would make a movie um anzum chizo anzum character chigo wow anzum chizo no no although last time you know i actually uh, i i got an offer there you know from yeah. um somebody from nepal yeah uh, yeah he, he's a producer from nepal yeah. And he wanted to collaborate and make a movie in Bollywood, in Mumbai, no? Yeah. And yeah. then the movie was uh, in Hindi, so three boom main lead duwa amtu, and then ana di ani me bade trafficked prostitute tinga me bade from Assam, yeah. Yeah. so they thought my look would fit in Assamese, you know? So they didn't want a typical Indian look, but they wanted somebody who looks like. Machizume Assamese tribal some tribal person tumchi goni be meva. They be zanga Hindi machine di gite. The dialogue they sent me was pa Hindi ani be do, and I thought, oh my god, gonna do? I don't know Hindi. Na Hindi machine. Yeah. Ah, actually, the shade of blue. Thora ara thora se ata hai. Machine. Machine. Oh yeah, yeah. You told me no, and you didn't take the yeah. role, no. No, I didn't take the role because, and also because you know, in fact, Nanzali, I didn't want to take the role. Oh, Hindi mashi midi mo is just an excuse mo. Hindi lavro lav ko achi lav ni te mo na kachwe lav ni te. Hindi lavro lav ni Japanese lavro lav ni kachwe lavro lav ni te mo. If but I didn't want to go shoot because ma border na me, asam border na shoot be kowe and then. Half the after Assam movie, it will all be on the road, meva, where it's in the truck, all the way to Mumbai. So that would mean I have to leave my son, no? So, so nonzile, I actually didn't want to do it. Any off, kongi offer beodera. I was a bit. I was telling my husband, eh, gachiri, at this age, at this age, I don't want to chase things anymore, man. I just want to be home with my son. Yeah. Okay. Now see. Okay. Now I have a. Okay, you know, it's okay. People know that yes. Bhutan, na Bhutan gi, that Bhutanese society na they keep talking about me chup and me changha. Eh, khon didi chuping kachi bero besup. Eh, easy for her to say she's so rich. Easy for her to do. They have the money, <laughs> you know, <laughs> all that. And ngachi besa me choice me because ngachi changha in se anu sumchi duba the rich and poor and where. You go. It's always that messy, like rich and poor, rich and poor. Mental health. Why do you have it? You're so rich. You know, like machizumi chanka anizumi. Say like, what? What is your say on this? Would you like to kind of maybe say something on that? Like, like for instance, okay. For instance, I'm sure you also go through it. My husband. When I was when I started, oh, you know, I got it when I was started because. I, it's so sad because you know my first award, my award gave which got him that somebody told me, pa, that's the le chu he's a chap chap lo. I that never left me. Honestly, mm. I thought mm. more. I worked hard for this, and all you can say is chu he's a chap chap. All my life I've been tagged as chu he's a chap chap. Mm. You know, uh, it is sad the more. I must say no, 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 no. I don't know, you know, but I've had that problem. But yeah. then it, I think it's to do with somebody's perspective. Me, why they must be feeling like, mashi te kong, maga ong te nga maga oi mo mosh. But um, but it has, you know. Then I always feel like telling people no. Oh, like don't play that against me, man. You know, like I'm an individual. My family may be having the money, no. Yeah, 
me as an actor, I've earned nothing here. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, you know, I'm not going to be a good thing. I'm not going to be a good thing. It's not like two years of chop chop, you know, I'm also working more. Yeah. And then yeah. that has, it does play. Yeah. And then, of course, any mental health, now, when, not in a mean way, when I started getting my anxiety and I went into my depression after my son, no? Yeah. After my son was born. Was it postpartum? So yeah, postpartum, yeah. yeah. And then the people used to say, oh, why are you going through? And I'm like, I wish I knew. I yeah. wish I knew Labi Mo and it took you to be bar and my god I would PMC I'll tell you you know when I used to get my panic attacks mm. I used to go breathless you know so yeah. many times I used to feel like I was dying yeah. and you know remember the panic attack top that you can't breathe that's the lady pa some drop me there and I used to think and that time I used to I swear I used to think more I used to think, honestly, yeah. I would, you know, and then my father would, my father used to take me for these drives, no? Yeah. He used to take me for these drives and then Lamka and Dotum labor. So, mm -hmm. when I used to see that, I swear, the first thing in my head, I used to think, I, they're so peaceful. Physically, they come with me, but mentally, they're peaceful. They're nimjiro, labe. Tochi Donka Tun Za Chiru Ne, you know, in a tent, Lamka. And they had that peace. And I didn't have that peace. I had everything. I have mm. everything, but not that peace. So anyway, Jumi to me, it doesn't go like that, meo. You know, so yeah. I think that is a stigma. So many people yeah. talk about stigma, but this is also that a stigma where yeah. 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 You you have never been applauded. Do you want to, yeah, do you want to, do you want to kind of elaborate on your mental health issues? Like, do you think you know what triggered it or like, uh, like any, oh, anything? Oh, yeah, that well. yeah, 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 yeah. If I didn't know what triggered it, if I didn't go inside and dig what triggered it, yeah. it will keep You'll coming You'll still back, be suffering. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah, you still be suffering. You have to face what is bothering you, remember? You have to yeah. face years of pent up stress years of judgment so many things you have to face it yeah. and then yeah. it then i don't know <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but mine was almost i never met i had my baby during the covid yeah 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 i had my baby during the covid yeah 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 dealing with the change the first time i'm becoming a mother no all yeah. my life i've been like nga na juni lab chin no sama ma ta ma ju mo nga na deni lo chin deung but all of a sudden i have to make adjustments sacrifices for this little baby day and yeah. then i need lockdown be and then there were people who were saying na me sami covid is going to kill people lo is going to swipe yeah, the yeah, world yeah i remember lo. you paranoid and then, no and i became so paranoid you know uh, then uh, I give it, it triggered it, okay. Yeah. And then also, of course, any postpartum give hormones. No, I think my after birth, my hormones was just going up and down. Yeah. And then, uh, and, and so it was that those two, okay, the pandemic. Then my hormones going up and down, and me not yeah. being able to adjust, meba. Yeah. I think yeah. everything comes. All troubles in life come when we can't adjust. Yeah. That's what I learned. Oh. When you yeah. resist, what you resist will persist. You know, yeah, I just be me to be what they flow be me to be what they. I was stuck yeah. to my old life, no, and I yeah. couldn't adapt to this new life. So that's how it came about. Yeah. And then I was going through my uh, all this, and then then I got the news that uh, late Karma Chechung got into an accident. Mosh. Yeah. yeah. And that was just, it just added on. It added on. I, you know, I went through a lot, you know, after that, it, it's like at one, in one part of my life, I was cele celebrating birth, life, mm -hmm. new life, mm -hmm. new, new. And on the other side, I was grieving, you know, I was grieving somebody, you know, I was grieving a person who I'm, I'm not, I wasn't together with, but 
I spent almost eight years with. And uh, mm. he, even if we weren't together, we were still, we were like best friends, you know. He was like a family to me. Even mm. if it ended it, I always wanted the best for him. He wanted the same for me. And mm. we were like really, any. That's like a family is always funny, you know. It's like yeah. people may think they'll, they'll even make a meme out of me and say, hey, but you know, it's like it is possible. When love yeah. is, if you open your heart, anything is possible. You know, yeah. you don't have to be this. Ah, the chica memchin, kamilaplo, chichilu, mijimilo, charumibelo. No, it's not there. You know, they, mm. there is space. There is space for love and care still. So yeah. for me, mm. all of that added up and, you know, at, I think, all of us at one point of our lives, we face loss still. Loss yeah. of love, loss of <clears throat> life, yeah. you know, loss of a career. Yeah. So I think for me, all of this was piling up because I felt also, uh, even work-wise, oh, yeah. You know, I had it in my mind that once I start a family and once I have yeah. children, I'm going to leave the movies. That was always in my head. That was always in my plan. Yeah. So for me, it was yeah. all this combined together, you know, stopping a career, losing someone very close, then going with my hormones, yeah. adjusting to a new baby, a new life. So all of that got me. Yeah. And then, of course, there's a lot yeah. of past, past traumas also that came out that I had to deal with, you know. Ah, but, <laughs> you know, you have to deal with so many things. Oh, so. Did you so ever seek, that, like, uh, professional help? Yeah, well, COVID, no, I, I got in touch with the hospital. Then I got in touch with Dr. Nirula. And mm-hmm. it was lockdown. So I was on the ambulance and I had to run for that medicine, no? Yeah. And so I did, I was on medication for seven months and that really helped me because when your panic attacks and your anxiety is really bad, oh, yeah. you can't function, Meva. Think positive at that time, meditate, think positive, dipaja. Oh, it doesn't work. You, it doesn't yeah. work. Na tochi zanige lahta me. You know, mm-hmm. when the anxiety is so bad, yeah. it's like it robs the daylight out of you. Yeah, so yeah. you need that medicine, Meba. You need that medicine yeah. to calm you down first. Then from yeah. there you go fight your battle. Yeah, yeah. I think so I, I, I never, for me, for me, when I look at you, no, I think you got it so much more worse than me. Me, yeah. Because I never kind of reached that, you know, that level. Yes, yeah. I kind of maybe like maybe two or three steps lower than you did. I also used to get and all that. But I think you, I think, I, I remember, I remember you, yeah, man. You yeah, are such you, a, you're yeah. such a warrior. You yeah, could, yeah, you yeah. fought your way out. And I really, like, appreciate you for that. You, uh, I think you're one of the strongest women I know, really. You've gone through hell. You've broken down. And then you kind of just rose up, you know. Yeah. And I, a it lot is, of people. But you know what? That, you know? Now, when I look back. You know, when I look back or when I was doing my work, inner work with myself, yeah. ground zero is the best place to start, Yeah, yeah. I can, I can build a new life now. You know, yeah. I can build, like, I hit rock bottom and there's nowhere else to go but to bounce back up. So I has, mm-hmm. I, it was like, for me, after that incident, I had to rebuild my life. Yeah. Literally, even now, I'm rebuilding my life. I'm rebuilding myself, you know. And yeah. and in fact, um, but you know, when I really look back, they oh, how was I going to go through like that? I had to go through this, me, I yeah. had to go to ground zero, me, because yeah. I had to build this new life. And what an opportunity, yeah. you know. Now I think, wow, what an opportunity for me to build. Rebuild myself. Now you feel, yeah. Now you feel so good about yourself, right? Yeah. About yeah. No, the, the confidence. Oh, my yeah. confidence now does not come from external things anymore. Yeah. I got my own back, you know. I got my own back, and I, sometimes I, I get up and I feel like I can. Kachimo, 
conquer the world. I can take this, conquer the world. If you, I have myself. You know? Yeah. So I never know me sometimes. Then of course there are days when the anxiety gets the best of you. But like <laughs> last time when I was <laughs> when I was going to Delhi, no. My daily human, I had yeah. to go for a meeting. Yeah. For my office, I had to go for a meeting. They and I haven't been out for four years. Oh. I haven't been yeah. out of this country for four years. Yeah. After my depression, after my son. And I actually don't enjoy. I really don't enjoy going out. I, I enjoy being in Bhutan. I enjoy being in Timpu. You know, for me, I like this place. I, I love it here, you know. So for yeah. me, Ngalude, I don't find the need to go to Bangkok to do shopping law, to go to Mashete, to go see the world, beautiful sceneries. I really don't yeah. feel the need, Mewa. But I You're had the to go for a meeting. Home, yeah. 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 So I had to go for a meeting. And this was the first time in four. My son is almost four now. Yeah. So this was the first time I left my son. Yeah. 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 The separation anxiety, no? Yeah. You know what I told my driver? Yeah. Because I, you know what I had? If I can't do it, I'm going to come out. Forget the meeting also. Yeah. Forget the ticket. Yeah. Get also. No one has to mm -hmm. refund me back. Hey, me. I'm going to get out and go to the car and go back home. That was my, yeah. that, that was my plan. Oh, <laughs> then yeah then i was getting so anxious oh the more i thought yeah. about my son i was physically in pain separate anxiety <laughs> yeah 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 i know then I but he's so an well taken care of the at home Kaz yeah, is such a wonderful father oh my god yeah. but it's me it's not oh, it's it's problem it's 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 <laughs> So yeah, I had yeah. to I had to take an anti anxiety man. Yeah. Oh God, him. while you were flying. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was just too much in a plane. You know, you can't jump off the plane. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Anzumo me. So there are days when it's good, there are days when it's bad. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I healing, know. Healing is not linear, you know. Anybody watching, I was about to say through, that healing is not linear. Yeah, so yeah. it's not linear, you mm -hmm. know. Me, you know, ah, like anxiety day, the depress. I feel better day, slapshin. Somewhere on on in the corner, the ruhuk sit you. It comes, you know. Just say me. Me, 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 gets better but but i i take it like this now my anxiety i don't run saying yeah. domina don't run from it don't drink it away don't smoke it away don't party it away just sit with it so what i do yeah. is i sit with it and i say release release yeah. what do you need yeah. to release release i'm right here you're safe yeah. release so that's how i take it now i i just sit there and I just sit there and just go with the flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one time I was getting like a real bad anxiety attack and I was with my friends. And I'm still anxiety. And then I did it. And my friends, no, especially my friend Yande, she she will catch me seeing like catch your expression Beroshi. i don't even have to say a word just by my expression she will know what i'm trying to say no mm. so she was like catch me lucy <sighs> release that became our anthems that night yeah. no we were together release <laughs> release yeah. and, and it, it actually helped her huh? releasing <laughs> yeah, it helps it helps out. yeah mm -hmm. what is yeah, stuck, it, it, the really stuck energy the stuck yeah. energy needs to come out meba so yeah. sometimes yeah. Either by walking, if you walk, the energy releases. If you dance, the energy releases. If you hum, like, mm -hmm, you know, om, you can do your om gi chanting, it releases. Yeah. So there are many ways to release it, Meba. Yeah. yeah. So it's like that. You just sit with it. Yeah, yeah. Sit with it, observe it, acknowledge it, and then let it go. Just watch it, Teo. Just watch it, watch, observe yeah. it. Just watch it. 
Yeah. So, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing, the same drama. But it works, huh? <laughs> no, okay, it works. It, it works. works. I told you, yeah. But, yeah, it works. Last time, like, I was just feeling something, no, and I was getting so, like, that anxious and angry and all that. So, I'm like, okay, just breathe. And I'm observing that emotion, that anger, and I'm just thinking, what is it? Where? What is it? I'm yeah. feeling it, you know? Mm. Everything around is fine. So, I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. Mm. You are not a bad person. You are not, you know, there's nothing wrong with you. You feel it. You accept it as a part of you. And then you let it go. So, it worked, see. And it I started works, to so. feel like a little lighter, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, so people because you know try what? it. Yeah. Not that is, you know, even like say, tip zabda, say if I get irritated at my husband or I'm irritated, I'm watching it there. I'm saying, Zai, talk is almost angry today. <laughs> so, yeah. Someone's angry today. Look at her, Zai. No, <laughs> after that, I'm not angry anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's gone. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah, yeah. You it, know? Works, it works. I do that with my husband also. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so it works. It works. Just, it's because okay. You know, Pema, you know my husband is like doing distance. something. Yeah. My husband is doing something and I'm like, it's okay, detach, you know, from your yeah, thing. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm okay. Then yeah. I just go it's about like doing that, my well, own. Uh, when you feel angry or when you feel sad, feel yeah. the anger. Don't, don't, yeah. don't become the anger. Yeah. Feel yeah. the sadness. Don't become yeah. the sadness. Watch the feel reaction. Feel the panic. Yeah. yeah. Feel the panic, but don't become the panic. You just watch yeah. it, you know. So by yeah. watching it, you create a distance. You're creating yeah. a distance with your emotion and your thoughts. And I think that's yeah. what you call mastering your mastering your emotions and your thoughts. The more, and the more it's yeah. all about yeah. practice, man. The more you do yeah. it, the better the you better become, you yeah. the more powerful you become. Yeah. And people and are thinking, what this? You don't even like, you don't even care about, you know, yeah. like, oh, whatever the hell, you know, say no, me, me. You do what, what, you what, to do. what is to bother you no longer bothers you. Yeah. 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 So I'm kind of also reaching that stage. See, good, good. I'll keep going. Yeah. I have, People I have the last now. two things. What I have last two things. Oh. No way, no, no. It really helps. Okay, you have no idea. You know, it really helps on huh? this this thing. People, okay. who would think that Toki Tomo had anxiety? Who would think Toki Tomo gets panic attack? You know, so I'm sure people. Do. So, what do you think about uh, Toki infidelity? What's that? Cheating, infidelity. I don't know. <laughs> husband, and wife, husband and wife, and you know all that. Cheating. What do you, What do you think about that? Good. Cheating is no good. Yeah. I'm just joking. Uh, what I think about it, look, oh, Hema, before I had my child and before I had this anxiety and before I got to know myself and my yeah. values, uh, maybe you never know in life what happens, you know, a possible candidate. You yeah. know, anyone yeah. of us could be Mewa. Yeah. But I made a promise to myself when I was mm -hmm. going through my anxiety. Mm -hmm. I made a promise to myself that... Um, from my side, I don't know about the other side, but from mm. my side, I don't want to be a person who breaks my family. Mm. I really don't. I don't want mm. to be. This is my top goal. You know, mm. different people have different goals. This is my top yeah. goal. I yeah. want my child to be in an environment where it's pleasant, it's happy. He, no. he, you know, he, he's, he has both his parents. Mush. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I made that my goal. Yeah. And God, you know, I always say, God, give me the strength. Give me the strength yeah. to keep this goal. Because in life, let me show you why. You cannot say, Afidi, wrong, imbe, right, imbe, nanze. You don't know what happens between a couple. So yeah. very easy yeah. for somebody to judge and say, ah, mo imbe, ko imbe. Lakhaduwate to judge and say, no, you don't know that. Sometimes uh, a man does not give his wife time. No. He doesn't give her the attention. He doesn't give her the love. He may be bringing in the money, but he yeah. doesn't give her time. She yeah. starts to feel unloved. And then mm -hmm. a nice, handsome young boy, like with all the, you know, he might come along and sweep you off your feet. Yeah. Mush, let me show you about it. And yeah. then same yeah. for a man also, you know. Uh, yeah. He's so tired, he's going out, working, making a living, making a living just for his wife and child, wife and child. And then one day a beautiful young girl 
comes along and that sparkles that little childish boy in him youthfulness the yeah love, the youthfulness yeah. let me show you more you can't say yeah. yeah so you can't say who's right and wrong and i can't say that meva but i think uh, look even desire is a practice yeah, yeah i take it like that yeah i i see you know, desire it's a practice yeah. and when i have yeah. that awareness now oh i am desiring then yeah. i can i have a reaction i have i, can, I have a choice to stop myself there yeah. and then sometimes it's all sad yeah because once one silly mistake you know rangi desire control the mosua tama thisho yasabachin ai you are breaking firstly your family yeah another family yeah another woman you're breaking another woman you're breaking another child lakhaduwa de mosha so and even sometimes the oh it's it's quite sad mo but then what to do they you know i guess some things are bound to happen will happen they let me show you now yeah yeah no no i'm i i feel like if a person like you know uh while in a relationship falls for someone like i'm all like okay with that you know but i just hmm. feel like the cheating should not happen see the lying yeah. you know oh i still love you and then some with suddenly the person is with somebody else you know that that kind of keeping the partner in the dark is something i feel is terrible you can fall for whoever you want but be honest about it and just you know Mutual yeah, yeah. understanding, you know, like you separate and then move forward. That's what I feel. But I don't like that, you know. Naachi shop cha, paachi shop cha. Then going home and naale shop cha. Like oh my god, that's like I feel like you know that's such a. I think that's I think one of the worst things you feel, woman. I give If you fall in love with somebody else, by all means, go for it. You know, mina. Yeah. Oh. But yeah. you know what? Oh, I think. Much is it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me share with me now. You can't. You can't say no. You Maybe the person wants all good. sort of things. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Maybe I think sometimes wants... I feel one person can love two people. <laughs> it, it might be possible. Yeah, I got yeah. Me no, no chance. Maybe you. Uh, maybe for you not. <laughs> How can a person be with two people at the same time? See that my thing, my my thinking on that is kind of at least maybe a little too backward. That's But, a superpower. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, 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 it would be hard. At this level, Udoni me wa the mo anale at the shop chicha pa holo shop chicha pa 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 pa. Yeah, like hara shiata cha, and then cause yeah, all yeah. sorts of hurt and pain everywhere. You know, I feel yeah. that's kind of sad. Yeah. yeah. So Toki. That was my last question and my last but, last but, thing. Oh, I want but to... I must tell you, huh, that when I was in high school, I used to write two love love letters to two boys. Ah, uh, that the it's okay there. That did it when, but, when you were not married. No, no, listen. <laughs> I got caught also. I got caught also. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I mean, I was so embarrassed, man. <laughs> How? How did you get caught? I had two oh, boys. Two die. Boyfriend need that, and a love letter. Chor, they do more. One I write with red ink pen. One I write with blue ink pen. Those shiny things, shiny pens. <laughs> I'll copy the same. <laughs> oh God! And I'll I'll put it in the locker, and I have to all the time write to them same poem, same love letters. One oh. one day, next to the stairs, they call me. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> and you know what they said to me? Shame on you! <laughs> no, oh, oh, yeah. they said to me, they said, "Don't write to us. We don't like you, lor." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they said that to me, no. <laughs> oh then, my God! We don't like you, lor. Then when I became Miss Bhutan, and then I started, you know, becoming an actress and all. I was like, now talk to my hands, you know, whether you like me or not. I think what kind of what business? So do me now. No, no. And the business. Me me do me. Me me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's okay. So that brings um, an end. Mm -hmm. Request some last words for people who okay. must be going through, you know, a rough phase right now. At least of advice. Chi chi subachin, and then I'll put on the comments. Okay. Okay, I have to put this together properly. Actually, honestly, no. Mm. I feel, 
I'm in no position to give advices. No men are you, men I feel, um, you know, in fact, I advise go away sometimes, you know. So for me, I, in, in, instead of an advice, I would rather say it as a reminder, me, a reminder. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. advice, lapta, we don't know how many people are watching, what age group they are, no, yeah. you know, what kind of situations they are in. Mm-hmm. So I can't give a specific advice. Emosh. Yeah. But what I would say is, I think for anybody going through a rough time, Firstly, you just take it one day at a time. You know, you just win today. That's it. Mm-hmm. Don't think about tomorrow. You just win today. Mm-hmm. That's it. All you can do is win today. Mm-hmm. And secondly, I would say is, look, when you're going through something, very easy for people to say, think positive, think positive. You know, my mother used to keep telling me, think positive, I think know. positive. And that's and even so more irritated. Yeah, yeah. She's so irritated because... Thinking positive ki help me when you're really bad, you know. Yeah. What I would tell you is just accept is the yeah. word. I think yeah. acceptance is a very powerful word. Yeah. Accept. First, accept that you are not well. Yeah. Recognize that you are not well. Mm. Mm. And then from there, the healing begins. Me. Yeah. Until you accept. It never yeah. begins, though. So I yeah. would say, Rangi, accept be, reach out for help. No, you have yeah. to reach out. Don't, don't, don't feel any. My fear was, you know, when I was getting really bad anxiety, I don't know whether there's a view, there's some viewers who feel like me, but I was either scared that I was going mad yeah. or I was going to die. Yeah. These were the two things that yeah. really, and I thought, do you want to go mad or do you want to die? I would rather die than go mad. Yeah. Never. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. when feelings you, when you, it's really the anxiety really takes over your life. Mm-hmm. It gets so bad, you know, to even yeah. take a shower, yeah. I swear. To even take a shower, to even get dressed is like a whole lot of energy you need. Yeah. Anime. So I think you must, when you feel like that, just remember that it's normal, Meva. We all feel mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. do it now. Just some of yeah. us hide it quite well and don't listen to our thoughts too much. And, you know, yeah. so all yeah. of us have it. It's very normal. And if you are feeling very high level of anxiety, and you're having suicidal thoughts, mm. I think you must get help. You mm. have to get help because those suicidal thoughts is not you. It's really yeah. not you. It's the mind that is tired, the brain that is tired, that's creating all these thoughts and mm. funny feelings and funny thoughts. I used to get scared of my own thoughts also. You know, yeah. so mm. I would say get help. You know, there's nothing to be ashamed about get help every one of us goes through it at some point in our lives and we yeah. can get through it and you can mm. always get through it by asking for help so my advice is very simple always it's, it's to get help is to urge you to get help yeah thank you thank you so much Soki. thank you for uh i think this must be um one of the most beautiful uh you know advice i would call it an advice it doesn't matter which age group is watching or who's watching i am 100 percent sure that 99 percent of the people watching here have mm-hmm. experienced something like this you know mm-hmm. in life yeah, so yeah. Uh, your advice your advice will definitely help and the fact that you have experienced it yourself and you have come out of it yourself with mm-hmm. your own effort means mm-hmm. all the more you know like yeah. it's more effective as a advice and for me i always look up to you like mm-hmm. i really appreciate soki for taking your time out thank you so mm-hmm. much and uh thank you for having me 